We're given two equations, and we're asked to figure out what values of h and k would provide no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions. So we'll start with these two, and we'll create a little matrix out of this. So we'll go 1, h, 4, 5, 10, and k. And that will be the matrix. So we naturally have to put this in the echelon form. We already have one pivot right here. So let's go ahead and subtract 5 from here by multiplying this row by 5. And then we'll do the same thing here, minus 5h. And over here we get minus 20. And uh, from there, this would just turn out to be a 0 over here. This is going to be that, and that's going to be that. So if we wanted to make this a pivot, we would have to divide this by 10 minus 5h. This would cancel out and become a 1 right here which would become our next pivot. And of course, we have to continue that by doing that over here as well. We're kind of getting this equation on this side that says y equals k minus 20 over 10 minus 5h. Um, we can deal with this top row, but let's just ignore it for now because this is all the information we need to solve this. From here, we're just looking for the domain and range of this type of thing. So. If we put 2 for h, if h equals 2 in the bottom, then we get uh, some number divided by 0. So that wouldn't be very cool. But that is going to be one of these types of things. Let's see. So if we make k equal 20, then we would actually just get a 0 on top, 0 divided by 0. So this gives us infinite solutions. So this is one of our answers here. That was going to be c. But now let's say, you know, h equals 2, but k does not equal 20. It's some other number. If that's the case, then we're going to get, you know, some actual number divided by 0. So this would give us uh, no solutions. And now let's say that h does not equal 2. That means that, um, you know, we'll get something on the bottom, like just say 1. And the top side, it doesn't really matter what you put in there because you're always going to get some kind of number up here. So K can be uh, all real. And so now you have your situations here. So for no solutions, it would be this one, A. For one solution, it would be this one right here, B. And for the infinite solutions, it would be this one, this is C.